city. <laughs> Nothing better than taking your pet pigeon out for a walk on its leash, jumping onto the beautiful Staten Island Ferry with nothing but a hot cup of bodega coffee in your hand, which, as we all know, is made from dirt and toilet water. God, I love this city, but how could I not? I'm the Statue of Liberty's husband. Come on. A lot of people ask me, how did you, a human schlub from Brooklyn, end up married to a 151-foot-tall woman made entirely out of copper? <laughs> And it's a classic love story. <laughs> My cousin Tommy actually works with her. He's the guy that scrubs the seagull shit off her neck. <laughs> great job, great benefits. And uh, so one day he's like, hey, Bobby, you gotta meet this statue lady. So I did. <laughs> and the thing about me is I've always been attracted to green French women who stand completely still. <laughs> That's my thing. So uh, naturally, I get one look at this statue, and I'm like, va 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 boom. <laughs> so uh, so uh, it ends up being a Wolverine romance, dinner, dancing, me leaning in to kiss her giant freezing cold lips. <laughs> it's hot and heavy right out of the gate. But let me tell you, between you and me, the sex ain't easy. <laughs> First off, she's mostly robes, so that's confusing to me. Second, she's always holding this flaming torch, so I'm burning my butt cheeks every single time. And don't even get me started how many times I've almost poked my friggin' eye out on that giant pointy freedom hat she's always wearing. Plus, um, it's a federal crime to fuck a national monument, so that's a stumbling block. <laughs> but other than that, our life's great. We live in a beautiful apartment in Staten Island with very high ceilings. Um, I make a pretty great living as a uh, walking Billy Joel song lyric. Uh, <laughs> so... Great job, great benefits. And she lets tourists crawl around inside her body all day. <laughs> uh, we got two kids who, I'll admit, are a handful. Um, one of them's that Jesus statue down in Rio de Janeiro. You know, this guy. He takes after his mother. And um, our other son is Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> so he's a real asshole. <laughs> He's gonna end up in prison any day now. Like I said, a handful. <laughs> but uh, listen, especially you kids, it ain't all wine and roses. In every relationship, there are dark times. Because old Lady Liberty, a couple of years back, she cheated on me with, yeah, I know, with one of those faces on Mount Rushmore. And I'll tell you what, I don't even know which one but I've never trusted that creepy one in the middle. You know, the guy who's peeking out. You know what I mean? He's peeking out, the guy who's peeking out. I don't trust him, you know? He's a grown man named Teddy. Grow up, let your name grow up. So, uh... So after that, after the infidelity, we ended up going to monument therapy. And uh, come to find out, she has a thing from men who symbolize something larger. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, babe, I symbolize the larger concept of your accent being your whole personality. Huh? Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> bada bing. <laughs> bada boom. <laughs> enough, about, enough about that, but listen up. Uh, we're all getting older, okay? I'm going gray, she's developing holes. Uh, both in a physical form due to erosion. <laughs> And metaphorically speaking, as the myth of American exceptionalism continues to degrade in the geopolitical consciousness. So that sucks. <laughs> oh, plus she eats people. Yeah, little known fact, but the Statue of Liberty survives by eating people from, from New Jersey. Yeah, every morning she reaches down into Jersey City and pulls some poor Mama Luke off a bicycle and bites his head off. <laughs> and the fucked up thing is, just this morning she ate Bruce Springsteen. So, 
Everybody's pissed! <laughs>